Finally, we have the recommended table space management type, which is managed by automatic storage. This provides the best of both worlds, the best of SMS and DMS. SMS in terms of ease of administration and DMS in terms of flexibility or control as to what you can do. So managed by automatic storage is intended to be a single point of storage management for table spaces. And um, what you need to do first is you you have to create a, a database. And when you create this database, you have to specify some storage paths, which are, are drives or a directory path. Uh, and basically, this is where you want to store your data uh, that that will be specified through your table spaces. And, and you don't explicitly need to define your containers. The containers will be automatically created across the storage path. So you just specify either a directory or a, or a path, a directory path. And then DB2 will figure out uh, whether it creates a file, whether it uses a directory, whether it uses a or treated these as a raw device in, in those um, in, in what you specify for your storage path. So growth of ex the growth of existing containers and addition of new ones is completely managed by DB2. If the storage path consists of different disks, information will be spread across all, all of these disks automatically. And, and note that the storage path that you provide in the uh, create table space statement must exist and be accessible. So unlike the um, SMS and DMS where the containers didn't have to exist before you execute the create table space command, for managed by automatic storage, they do have to exist. For example, we have different statements here. The first one is create database DB1 automatic storage yes automatic storage is the default so you actually don't need to explicitly put automatic storage yes um, second statement is uh, one where we're creating a database called db3 and then you say on slash data slash path one comma slash data slash path two and what this means is that we will be creating database db3 with automatic storage in two storage paths, which are slash data slash path one and slash data slash path two. And um, table spaces created with this data within this database will be using this storage path. Then we have create table space TS2 managed by automatic storage. As in the case of databases, you don't have to explicitly put automatic storage in the statement because this is the default. And this will work as long as the database was created with automatic storage. We can also create temporary table spaces as well using automatic storage as an example. So we have create table space, uh, create table space TS1. We can also create temporary table spaces using automatic storage. For example, create temporary table space tempt TS, or if it's a user temporary table space, you can, for example, issue a create user temporary table space USR TMP managed by automatic storage. Um, finally, the last example is create table space TS1, initial size 500K, increase size 100K, and max size 100 meg. I think it's kind of uh, intuitive what these parameters mean. Um, basically, when you're in table space, you don't, I'm not specifying automatic storage, but that's the default. And then you specify the initial size that you want for this table space. Um, and then if you reach this uh, limit um, or this initial size, then you specify by how much you will be increasing. So if you reach kind of uh, 500K, then it will increase by 100K. Then if you get up to 600K, in this case, it will go up for, by another 100K and so on, up to the maximum size of 100 meg. 